Welcome back guys, this ain't my typical type of video but this will help a lot of people out there especially with this error from a recent Windows update I'm getting on my Windows subsystem for Linux. Now for those of you who don't know, the WSL2 or Windows subsystem for Linux 2, unlike the original version, version 2 actually includes the full Linux kernel which offers better performance, capability and also supports environments like Docker. For me, this is crucial in cybersecurity work because it gives me that near native Linux performance experience, as well as being able to access Windows and Linux tool sets dynamically. It's particularly useful when I want that kind of flexibility between Linux, but still got the needs of a Windows based application OS. Now the issue at hand is this error on screen. Now this WSL process exited with the code 4294967295 error has been a particular headache and it took me several hours to kind of get to the bottom of what this error actually is and why it was kept on coming back. Now the first thing you want to address is the Windows features and making sure certain features are enabled. Now the ones in particular for this system is the Windows subsystem for Linux. You're going to need the virtual machine platform the hypervisor and you're also going to need sorry the hyper v of course you're going to need the virtual environment now if you already have all of those ticked simply untick them restart and tick them again and then restart and then that will put you in good stead of what's actually needed the second phase of this relies on the services now i had to dig deep on this to find out which services were actually impacting this. And there's several. So the first service you need to look at is this LXSS manager. Now this one is crucial for it to be running. It should be set to automatic if it ain't already running. The next one is the Windows update. This one is the next one that you need, this Windows update. So that's definitely needed and needs to be set to automatic. The last one is the Hyper V Virtual Machine Management. Now that's the other one that needs to be set, started and running. Now, once you've made sure all of those are running, the next step is to run this script that I've made bespoke to fix this issue. So I'll put this in the description below and you can thank me later, but what this is doing is just first echoing out it's just going to configure on the screen then it will start as auto the ls uh, the lxss manager like i just noted the next and important one is to start on demand the wsl service this is crucial i found Another supplementary service is the SC config Wu AU serve, and that's to start on demand. The next one is the background intelligence transfer service, which is also needed, and we will start that on demand. We will set the virtual machine service to auto start. And now we will start all the services dynamically as well and then it will just echo out on the screen all of these are running trust me on this you need to run all of this i've just set it up as a bat file so you can just run it in one fell swoop but run it as admin make sure all of these have run make sure you also put on the services i said last time and then once all of those are running if i start my environment again Boom. And now the ACE is back online. Smash the like button. Share where it needs to be shared. Subscribe to HT, of course. And you're welcome. Stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out.